Hi everyone, this video is exclusively about a parameter of a FET. The parameter is the on resistance and is notated in the datasheet as RDS, on. So that means the resistance between the drain and the source. So this is the drain and this is the source. And on is stating that the gate is configured for the on setting, so it has a certain amount of voltage on it. So in the datasheet for this transistor, which is an N-channel enhancement mode field effect transistor, the part number being BS170, the conditions are the voltage between the gate and the source, so VGS is equal to 10 volts, and the current through the drain is ID equal to 200 milliamps. So with those configurations, they state that you will typically get, so let's write tip, is equal to 1.2 ohms, and the maximum would be 5 ohms. So that's the maximum resistance you would see between the drain and the source. So it's probably going to be somewhere between the two, but hopefully closer to the typical. That's what they try to do on the data sheets is give you the closest thing they can get, but sometimes the batches don't come out the same way, so it strays into the max region. So let's go ahead and do this measurement on the bench and see if it's right. All right, this is the bench measurement or real world measurement. So this is the voltage at the gate. So it's approximately 10 volts DC. So that's at the gate there. And then this is the current right here. So that is 0.17 amps or 170 milliamps. So pretty close to what they spec'd. And then this is the voltage across the drain and the source. So remember that value, which is 220 millivolts. All right, so from our bench measurement, we know what the voltage across the drain and the source are. And we also know the current through the drain and the source. So here's the current and here's the voltage. Now we just need to use Ohm's law here to determine what the resistance is. So all we need to do is divide the voltage by the current. So the voltage is 0.22 volts. So let's put 0.22 divided by the current. So that would be 0.17 amps. And that is equal to 1.3 ohms. So there we go. We have just found the RDS on. And it's a little above their typical, but pretty close. Much closer it is than it is to the maximum. And just for fun, I'm going to show you a really stupid way of measuring the RDS on resistance. It's not accurate, but it's still kind of fun to do. And here's the inaccurate way of measuring the RDS on. So you need, uh, let's say, a 15 volt potential and then a potentiometer so you can adjust the voltage at the gate. And then all you need to do is take a ohm meter and place it across the drain and the source. And then you can measure the resistance across that junction there. So here is the inaccurate measurement for RDS on. Here we are with 10 volts at the gate and we have 1.7 ohms across the drain and the source. So as we noted in the data sheet, it was supposed to be 1.2 or what I measured was 1.3. So you can see this is a way to, I guess, get a really bad ballpark figure of what the resistance will be at a set voltage at the gate. So yeah, well, thanks for watching and please do not attempt this as an accurate measurement in the future. The, you should follow the data sheet in order to find those values. All right, take care guys.